The National Surveillance Unit (NSU), Irish: Aonad Nasawinta, is the principal clandestine intelligence gathering and surveillance operations unit of the Garda Shoshana, the national police force of Ireland. The unit operates under the Crime and Security Branch (CSB), based at Garda headquarters in the Phoenix Park, Dublin, and also works from Harcourt Street, Dublin. Members of the unit are specially trained and selected detective guardi who are tasked to remain covert whilst on and off duty, tracking suspected criminals, terrorists and hostile, foreign spies operating in Ireland. The unit's detectives are routinely armed. The National Surveillance Unit is understood to possess a manpower of approximately 100 officers, and is considered to be the most secretive arm of the force. Topic structure The Garda National Surveillance Unit was formed in the mid-1990s, when the Crime Special Surveillance Unit and the Crime Ordinary Surveillance Unit were merged. It is the operational wing of the Security and Intelligence Section of the Crime and Security Branch The unit is headed by a Detective Chief Superintendent, who is under the supervision of the Assistant Commissioner in charge of the Crime and Security Branch. It is understood to have a strength of about 100 plainclothes officers, mainly detectives, who all carry firearms standard issue is the concealable Walther P99 C 9mm semi-automatic pistol. The unit is headquartered in the Phoenix Park, but carries out many operations from Harcourt Street. The NSU has personnel nationwide, and works closely with the Special Detective Unit SDU, as well as Garda analysts or techies in other Garda regions, although often local Garda are unaware of the presence of the NSU operating in their area. Increasingly, the NSU is using technical and electronic espionage rather than physical and human intelligence, working with the SDU and Directorate of Military Intelligence G2 of the Irish Defence Forces, mainly to counter terror, militant and subversive groups in Ireland, as well as serious crime particularly drug trafficking and the activities of hostile foreign governments on Irish soil counterintelligence. The Garda NSU is considered the most covert unit of the force, and according to the Department of Justice, it is the policy of Ngarda Shoshana not to comment on any matters relating to the operation of the National Surveillance Unit. <laughs> Ghost teams The Garda NSU operates a small number of ghost teams, or ghost units which conducts so-called black bag operations, whereby a team of officers will break into a property upon possession of a warrant and plant bugs to gather intelligence or evidence against suspected serious criminals, terrorists or hostile spies without their knowledge, and without leaving a trace, hence the name, ghost team. The existence of these teams came to public attention following the publishing of the Criminal Justice Surveillance Act 2009. The equipment and technology used by the NSU is highly sophisticated and very expensive, but is also kept secret. <laughs> Activities The National Surveillance Unit has been involved in a number of high-profile Garda operations, though rarely are the unit named, and they do not appear in public. In August 1998, the Real IRA terrorist organization detonated a car bomb in Oma, Northern Ireland see Oma bombing, killing 29 people and injuring 220 others. It was the single deadliest terrorist attack ever carried out on the island of Ireland, and all the casualties were innocent members of the public. In the aftermath, claims were made by whistleblowers that the Garda National Surveillance Unit had obtained intelligence three weeks prior to the bombing that a stolen car would be used by the real IRA in an attack on a town in Northern Ireland, and failed to pass this information on to the then Royal Ulster Constabulary RUC, in order to protect the identity of an informant. These claims have been strenuously denied by both the Garda Shoshana and Irish government, although subsequent investigations suggest that had the Garda and RUC pooled their resources, the attack may have been prevented. The infiltration of dissident Republicans by the Garda, RUC, MI5 and Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI led to five foiled terrorist attacks in the same year, including a thwarted, spectacular, bombing of the Aintree Grand National. In December 2001, NSU Detective Sergeant John Ife, aged 40 from Rattoth, County Meath, lost his life in tragic circumstances after he was hit from a bullet ricochet fired by a colleague from the Emergency Response Unit during an operation to arrest four armed bank robbers in Abilex, County Laos. 
The four men had been under surveillance by NSU detectives, and when they attempted to rob a bank, the NSU and Emergency Response Unit intervened. One of the men attempted to flee using his vehicle, and the sound of a tire bursting led officers at the scene to believe they were being fired on by the armed robbers, causing them to open fire. It later transpired that although the criminals had been carrying firearms, they had not discharged them. Gardy discharged all three shots. Another officer was also injured in the incident, but recovered. In May 2009, NSU detectives shot and killed an armed raider in Lucan, County Dublin after he attempted to hold up a cash in transit van, 27-year-old Gareth Malloy, who had previous criminal convictions, and his gang were under surveillance by the NSU for a number of weeks prior to the incident. Gardy received intelligence that the gang were going to carry out a heist, and the NSU were backed up by the National Bureau of Criminal Investigation NBCI, Organized Crime Unit and ERU. When Malloy and a gang associate attempted to hold up a cash delivery van at gunpoint and fired a shot in the air, NSU detectives intervened and ordered the armed raiders to drop their weapons. Gareth Malloy pointed a sawn-off shotgun in the direction of armed Gardy and was immediately fired upon by NSU officers and was fatally wounded. His associate refused to drop his weapon, and was also shot, but survived with serious injuries. Five shots were fired by Gardy in total. No one else was hurt. Four other gang members were arrested, charged and jailed following a pursuit in the aftermath of the incident. In March 2013, NSU detectives were carrying out physical surveillance on dissident Republicans when a former leader of the Real IRA terrorist group, Peter Butterly, aged 35, was assassinated by his own gang outside of a public house in Gormanston, County Meath, unaware of the presence of onlooking intelligence officers. Five men were arrested at or close to the scene at gunpoint by the NSU, backed up by the SDU and ERU, and three were charged with his murder, as well as terrorism offenses. It was reported that the Guardi had an undercover officer planted in the gang, who was being backed up by armed officers nearby, and that he had to break his cover in the aftermath of the shooting to apprehend members of the gang. An NSU team had planted a tracking device, following secret judicial approval, on the car in which their undercover officer was traveling in. Armed Guardi were forced to ram one vehicle to stop it fleeing the scene. No one else was injured in the incident. Killed in the line of duty Topic See also Garda Crime and Security Branch CSB, Garda Special Detective Unit SDU, Garda Emergency Response Unit ERU, Garda Counterterrorism International CTI, Defense Forces Directorate of Military Intelligence National Cyber Security Center NCSC.